Um, not actually till about two weeks before the announcement. Until then, I still thought it was conceivable that there would be other outcomes. One would be a buyer emerging at the last minute. Another would be sort of a bankruptcy restructuring. But I really felt um, about once I realized that the no, no viable buyer would emerge and that there was a determination to avoid bankruptcy, I knew it was just a matter of time. And that, um, that didn't mean it couldn't have lasted a lot longer. It could have. But I knew um, that it was just a matter of time. When I really knew that it was going to happen was the day before. I mean, I, when I went home the day before the announcement, I knew it was almost certain. I mean, that without barring a miracle or some unexpected development, I knew that it was going to close. One thing I have learned about business deals is, as the closer they get to culmination, things can emerge that really push parties apart again. And so you, you have to be very patient. Uh, my mantra in the newsroom was be patient because it's very surprising the developments that can, the twists and turns that you can see. You know, the, the, the response that, that, you know, we were going to close and that people would have us no longer, it was really, it told us that there is a deep bond that can exist between a community and its newspaper. And that um, that is what you're trying to build, that you should be as an editor and a publisher. And it was really, really encouraging and kind of uplifting um, the sentiments that were expressed to us. And I know that it made my staff, for the last three months since the sale was announced, it really helped us get through our days and weeks. Because what it told us was, okay, you know what, as, as difficult as things are, we matter in people's lives and we've really touched people's lives and that they really appreciate us being part of their lives. And so, you know, I found it very encouraging. Mm -hmm.